Fuck you, Roger. Fuck you, Roger. Fuck you, Roger. After all the dives that I've done, every time I go zooming to get to the bottom, you can see stuff whizzing past the window. I kept thinking to myself, one day we're going to have to stop and see what that is. And so hopefully by leg four we'll have designed a small instrument to uh, take the sub down and stop about a thousand metres before the bottom and then just try and sample all that. That's really experimental, really quite interesting. So what we have here is a plankton net. This is Mark 1. As you can see, it's a bit of a bodge together on the ship job, which is normally where these devices start out. To use the plankton net, we come up off the seafloor and the water flows down through the net and collects all of the uh, little animals at these depths in this little cod end, they call it. And hopefully we'll collect some jellies and plankton from about 6,000 metres. For me, it's particularly important because it's the first time that we are being capable of actually sample midwater. And uh, that has been my background in the last couple of years. They will allow you to perform genetic comparisons, analyze population, analyze phylogenetics, evolutionary history of all the things that are in the column water. Most of the ecosystem is actually the midwater. It's the biggest ecosystem in the planet, and everybody tends to ignore it. And that's why the plankton net is like a little window inside that world. See how he's moving like that? Yeah, that's a jelly. It's a jelly. Cool Vienna, Jaina. He loves jellies. Oh, larvations? Cool. Oh, and the jelly. There's a prawn in there. It's around. not a prawn, it's a krill, we think. I just call all them prawns. Yeah, I know. You call anthropods prawns, which is just absolutely ridiculous. It's a crab. So most of the research is doing up to the depths so of maybe maximum 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 have been my deepest sample with an ROV, but with the help of the sub, we will be able to pick up samples from even deeper, like Haydal zones, 8,000, 9,000 meters, and this will give you like a unique window to what is in the midwater in those environments. Being able to blend engineering and operations together um, is just super exciting for me. Being able to take a, an idea formulate it, work with the guys ashore, print 3D parts, cobble it together, trial it and see it work in a matter of days is just phenomenal. That has been a very good prototype and we are moving forward and it's pretty exciting.